Hi, just a quick little video I thought I'd uh, shoot because I'm just soldering on this little cute little Maxa 4239 here onto a little adapter here. So we've got a 6-pin uh, SOT23 jobby, but I want to mount it on a breadboard. So um, you've seen these in various mailbags. It's always handy to have these breadboard uh, like adapter things or you know SMD to through hole adapter things so that you can uh, uh, plug things into your breadboard and you can just like and also uh, like obsolete uh, gear or something like that if you're trying to replace a dip part you can't get a dip part anymore because it's obsolete or it might be cheaper or a better specified part in an SO uh, or in a surface mount package then um, these converter boards are very uh, handy sorry I can't remember where I got this one from so I'm not going to be able to link it uh, down below but uh, yeah we've got a regular um, SO package on the back there and uh, this is a 6-pin SOT23. We've got the smaller one there. We've got the 8-pin SO here. It's got room for, like, some uh, bypass uh, caps and uh, stuff like that. So, anyway, I thought I'd just mount this on here. And we'll give it a burl. I'll get my... Uh, what is that? I keep forgetting the diameter of this. It's a 0.38. 0.38mm solder. No wackers. Um, so, let's give it a burl. And let's just wait. That's a bit much, isn't it? A bit overkill there. Dave, what's going on? So let's move our little chippy over here. And we'll tack that down in place. Pin one to pin one up there. Not that it really matters. Uh, well, there we go. So pin one tacked in place. and Well, one pin tacked in place. Not actually pin one. It's pin six. And let's just do the rest. Ah, the little bead came off. It's really rather annoying. I should actually haven't tinned this tip in a while. Should actually tin it. So get my tinner here. And yeah, look at that. Bobby Dazzler. And wipe that off. Tip health is important. That's what she said. Now I should actually um, hold this uh, board in place, like using my vice stick or something like that. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to walk on the wild side today, and uh, we will. And there we go. Not the best angle of attack on that one. Now, we'll solder our pins in. Little pro tip, you want your chip to be on top so that you can actually see it. <laughs> to, like, actually see which uh, chip it is. So, now, of course, um, this board is like a big universal one, so it does take up more room on the uh, breadboard there. But I'm not too fussed. Now, technically speaking, I don't think that you're supposed to actually push <laughs> the, um, the square 0.1 mil header pins into breadboards. I don't think they were actually, they're actually optimized for that, but everyone does it. And yeah, no worries, she'll be right. Good enough for Australia. I don't know, you might find it specified on some breadboards though. Yeah, this is going to be a tad annoying, so I will actually use my stick vise here. Oh, sorry. There you go. It's stick vice, very handy by the way, and how could I approve this one? <laughs> so I can't remember, like, I assume that stick vice uh, sent it to me in the mailbag donkeys years ago. Very handy. There's lots of ways, lots of uh, methods for, uh, of course, holding PCBs like this. So, no wackers. And there we go. No real need to let it flow down the bottom there, through it like uh, through the into onto the bottom uh, side of that. So and Bob's your uncle. Look at that. We have a Max uh, forty two thirty nine in dip format now. Now, 
leave it in the comments down below if you can guess what my next video is going to be. It's not actually about the 4239, I'm just using it as a uh, demo. I'm going to have a whiteboard uh, thing, and uh, this is part going to be oh, a little solder ball there. Um, uh, that could ruin your day, those solder balls. Oh, that's a bit how you're doing. Look at that joint there. Oh, I'm not happy with that at all. Anyway. <laughs> Have a guess what uh, my next video is going to be about. That's a piss poor job. Ah, oh, jeez. Out of practice. Catch you next time.